sharp and shit. He, you know, let me tell you why Toby is a legend. Why is Toby a legend? Because he got Steph Curry on the song. Shut the fuck up. Mean? Steph Curry was what? rapping on the song. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was crazy, man. Like a legit song? Video and everything. Oh he's like, God. I'm pretty sure he's like on a boat fishing. What? And oh, rapping. Yeah. And it's good, too. I don't know if it... If, uh, if it's just I'm, it's I'm Kobe sure. Bryant rapping? We're not going to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> it was just Mamba Day, so... It was just, you we, know. You know? <laughs> but uh, I th- I'm pretty sure you wrote it for Steph, though. That, that shit was dope, man. Honestly. Steph's like, no, I wrote it. Don't don't let Toby lie to you. Who gives a He's fuck like, if he wrote it? You know what I'm saying? You know? He rapped it. That's he all did, that matters. He didn't sound like a basketball player, though. That's what I'm saying. Like oh, a, lot, okay. a lot of rappers rap, they sound like basketball players. They just sound like this. And all, yeah. uh, we, had a, uh, we had a long diatribe about this yesterday on the way to Empire. And it's like, basketball players rap, and it's tough because a lot of them are like basketball players that are rapping, and they sound like You know like who it. It was nice? Uh, was Tiana Taylor's man? Iman. Iman. We were talking about him last night, too. Yep. He's he pretty straight. this one song that I'm like, nigga, I like this. There's Do I song, know what it's called? No. There's one song I like called Critical. That's really cool. Is sh- I think it's on like a it, the a album called like Painting Pictures or something like that. Painting and like pictures. Tiana Taylor's on the cover, like painting a picture. <laughs> yeah. And Iman Shumper's Apropos. like standing behind her, like ten yards away. He's like, damn. My wife is so fine. Like that, I don't know. <laughs> it's it's mad cringy, just like how basketball players are when yeah. they rap. But that's it's whatever cool. though. But his first mixtape that came out in like 2012, oh, like 13, yeah, like on some dad piff shit, trash. Damn, that's tough. But he did redeem himself in my eyes with that album that he put out. Um, do you believe that there's some people that can do no wrong? Like even if it sucked, who gives a fuck? Yes. Or do you think everything hurts in some way? No, nah, I think if you have this um, goofy, sort of like silly, playful sort of personality or brand... It's like like riff raff, little yeah, b, yeah, yeah. like. I think Drake kind of fits in that box too, because I mean, like he's ubiquitous mm. enough to where it's like, if he drops some shit, it's gonna sell. People are gonna have crass, negative shit to say about it, and it's not really gonna matter that much because it's still yeah. gonna have people being like, "Yo, man, I'm gonna post a new Drake song." Honestly, never mind. I'm gonna post all the songs. Oh <laughs> yeah. yeah, fucking text on uh, what's the song? Green text yep. on green. Text on green. Yep. I was like, damn. Yeah. People saying it. It's a weird like uh, thing because Drake can do something like different and unique, but whether it sucks or not, people are gonna start doing it. But also on the other end, he Mm -hmm. takes a lot of inspiration from young artists and don't really shout them out. Yeah, it's kind of like kind of like alludes to you know. That's not biting, is it? Call it what you want. I don't know. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, now man. Look, I, Drake's one of those people for me. He's my he's my number one. He is. It's one of. The, it's like if you if he if you had a toxic nigga. I know all the things about my nigga. Yeah. You're like, fu- that's my nigga. That's my man. You know what I'm like, saying? Yeah. yeah. Good or that's, bad, that's my guy. That's my so man. sorry. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I know. It is a little yeah, shitty. Like, yeah, I, I know he if, did that, but it's like, come on. But if guy, I was in like, his position, would I do something different? I don't know. Everybody want to say they would do it different until yeah, they I get there, and they're like, "Actually, I would do the exact same thing." Now like if we freestyle and you and you get a little something, is it biting if I made it into a massive hit and I just took a cup? I know what you mean. I don't, Drake yeah. is doing like actual fucking. I get it. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. just saying. I, I'm what's not, biting? What's? I'm not mad at that either, though. Yeah, yeah. To be honest, yeah. I bite all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a biter. Yeah, what did, uh, what did that Nas song? No Nas ideas, still, original. Oh yeah, shit. yeah. There's nothing yeah, new under up. the sun. Like, it's never what you do; it's how it's done. Exactly. Period. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Could, nigga, you couldn't have made it this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you tried, but then I did. That's Hell the difference. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Damn. Colin, That's we fair. sounding good. We sounding good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, for sure. Nice Boom. and pert. Yo, we here. Coming in hot. It's the Loose Cannon Show. My name is Shelly Nix. And my name is Dylan Harkins. And um, I don't even know what to say. This is like a real special you episode. They ain't paying us. Uh, <laughs> we got it uh, looking all pretty in here in the conference room. It's a sunny day. It's the Lord's Day today. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> we, 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 we blessing. Let us pray. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Quit playing. Don't play with the Lord. You're you, you going to have to lead us in prayer if we do this. Damn, look at that. I'm Mexican, so we'll do a little sana sana, you know, just... Uh, no, yeah, we can do that. 
<laughs> them fake Catholics. I'm like, you know, doing it real. Proud. Jesus oh Christ. my yeah. God! Yeah, I don't. Congratulations. Jesus Christ! Yep. I, I don't think this person needs an <laughs> introduction, uh, so I'm gonna just go ahead and say it. We got one of the coldest motherfuckers in the room today, <laughs> Mama Duke. Yeah. Shelly Nick said it. Yeah. Shelly Nick said it. How are how are you uh, doing on this fine Sunday here oh, in man. Austin, Texas? It's beautiful. Um, it's one of them chill Sundays. This mm. is all I have to do today. Nice. I'm pulling up to a homie's. Uh, they're releasing a video today. And so I've been doing nothing else. And to me, nice. that's a beautiful fucking day. Yeah, I think that's what we're all striving for, to just be able to do nothing and not feel any dissonance for it, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a great feeling, man. Just talk some shit on a pot. Literally. Yeah. Just like, what was the highlight of your day? I just ran my mouth for about an hour and some change. It was great. Fuck yeah. I love yeah. it. <laughs> yet, it's th yet it still feels productive, right? Yeah. I do. I mean, yeah. you know. I wish people could see how long it took you to set up these cameras. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where's that and, episode and, at? Like, and us damn. watching right. you. It's like, damn, he's working hard. That's what nah. people want to see. The manual labor. <laughs> That's like... Labors of love. You know, it, I think that like we were just talking about Toby and how he has like so many people like on the team. Like... Mm -mm. It's just us. <laughs> it's, just, it's just us. Here, you know? Here's the thing: what, what we don't realize sometimes in the moment when we're working so hard by ourselves, for self, by self, I like to say, uh -huh. is that like you get 100 percent of that. Yeah. yeah. You, you add people and you cut. You yeah. know. Mm -hmm. um, the pie gets so, incrementally. Yeah. Smaller. And so you like to throw your homies a couple, a little change. Yeah, yeah. To definitely. get some off your back. Yeah. But Toby. I don't know if I could cut 75. He got it. He That's must got it. You got it. God, he, I hope he's got it. Because you can't tell. You can tell a couple homies, pull up. Nigga, I really ain't got a budget. Uh -huh. But come come help me. Do, yeah. You know? No. You can't convince the time. 75 yeah. niggas like, yeah. to pull yeah. up. Well, <laughs> is For he, some exposure. Woof. Is he signed? Because I would say that might be like label budget. Yeah, okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh, got yeah. it. It looks. Yeah. Mm. This isn't. Yeah. I wonder who he signed to. I wonder look up who. It's not a glance. Is Let's it? go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jamie. Do you mind oh, looking yeah. this up uh, real quick? I'm doing a little Google, a little look Google search. Let's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, look at the look at the monitor and this web browser that we have installed in it because we're, we're, we're big time and shit. What are we looking up? Uh, mm. for Who's Toby signed to? Toby. Yeah. For the people listening, we are referring to Toby and Wigwe. I've never heard of them wow. in my life. But estimated time of arrival records. What is that? Right what now, I'm arriving right now. It's oh, my time. Shout out to him. You know. Me o'clock. Being independent. I mean, to have your really kids hard. and your wife on stage. That's cool. That is that is the coldest shit ever. I, well, no, he posted a video of uh, his daughter, right? Yeah. She like climbed up on this big ass rock. He told her to get up there, and then he was like, "All right, now jump off." like into my hands and she was so fucking scared she's crying and he's like no you can't be scared like some real yeah, yeah, father yeah. like daughter bonding and she jumped off it was the cutest shit i ever oh. seen in my life yeah, yeah and she jumped she jumped of course she you did. gotta trust your pops you know what i'm saying I mean, that's yeah. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be okay <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah this nigga got you <laughs> well shit uh we got you here so yeah, we got yeah. some things you want to talk about you got the grammys crew neck on Had right to, just so you talk about it what's what up what show You've been red carpet. I don't Ain't know no that many people can say they've been to the Grammys. Oh, man. Um, been to the Grammys. Are you part of uh, like the Academy? Like how yes. did, yeah, okay. Cool. Like what what is that like? How does that go? What what happens so, when you're in the Grammy Academy? So, to be in the Recording Academy, you have to have two people already in vouch for you. Okay. And each person that's in the Academy has two um, votes, if you will. Mm. So, I could vote for you. I'm mm. like Shelly Nix is amazing. I'm going to use one of one of two of my votes okay, to you, vote okay. for you, but you got to get another nigga. So, that's what's cool. It's like I see. Yeah, you got somebody to say yes, Shelly is him. Mm -hmm. But you got to get somebody else to say it too. Okay. Damn. okay. And so once you get votes, they go to somebody, they look at you and they're like, Yeah, Shelly should be a part mm. of the recording academy. And that's how I got in. It must feel good being validated that way. Oh man, it's 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 cool because where I come from, what is even the recording academy? Yeah, people be like the Grammys. Yeah, I, just, yeah, yeah. I watch it on TV. People go up there but... and they're like, I would like to thank the academy. We hear that our whole lives. Yeah. Sorry, hit the I would like to thank the academy. Like... I would like they don't forget the academy. And so to be a part of that, that's like, whoa, okay. Is that um, what does it like say about a person if they're admitted into the academy? Is like, does this person make really good music? Is this person a good judge? Like, what no, does the right it person, say about shake you? the right hand, kiss the right baby? I think yeah. it has to be one of those. Uh huh. You know, um, I think for me, it's just being 
Ah, uh, scene. I, I think I do a little bit of everything. Yeah. I can't say they picked me because I dropped the dopest music. I can't say they picked me because I'm Mama Duke is cool. You know, I think it's it has to be one of those. Okay. So, you know, it's an amalgamation um, of things. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's like the sum of all these individual. You are pieces. you are in or around somewhere you need to be. Yep. Somebody sees you, two people at least. And they know that the, the Academy's missing an essential piece of it. Absolutely. And here's the thing. I'm going to be transparent. Um, since 2020, uh, you know, they're amplifying black voices. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hell yeah. They're ampl amplifying um, f female, w you know, women. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. They're, ampl <laughs> they're amplifying queers. Hello. Uh, <laughs> Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. And so I'm. All the things that used to hold me back, dog, are now like sending me to. Does it is does it feel easier to breathe now? Now that you have like that degree of like all these things that used to be yeah. headwinds are now like foundations of my profile. Bro, to be transparent, and this ain't no gas. I've never not breathed easy because hell yeah, not because what a good answer, but that not rocks. because. I'm that bitch all the time, but just, I don't, I don't think I see the, the obstacles that regular niggas see. It's, it's just good. like, you're, you're him until somebody says, you know, until yeah. you don't think you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so to me, it's like, I'm, uh, breathe, I'm, I'm, let me see, I'm breathing more for me. You more know, intentionally. Always, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Niggas yeah. is got clear airways. Always been breathing. <laughs> you know That's what I'm saying? talking about. Yeah. How many times have you been to the Grammys? <laughs> Once. Once. Yeah, this okay. was, I've been a recording academy member for two years. Okay. Well, the first year, you're figuring it out. Like, what does yeah. this mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Did they invite you to the table and not tell you what's, who's here? Am I like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> table am I at, syndrome? nigga? Like, okay. Well, even from uh, <laughs> a person that everybody doesn't get to say they've been to the Grammys. That's like, <gasps> that's an awesome show, nigga, right? And it was, the, oh, I bet. it was the best one. Yeah. So walk us through like what it was like. Uh, being at the Grammys, like getting there, like the door you walk through, like was there a red carpet? Like what? Yes. What, yeah. <laughs> what, what was, was it like? Red. Okay. Pop so here's the thing. Like, I will say, I will say, you know, to pull back that that um, veil, if you wish, um, you don't see that. There's two separate lines. Let's okay. be clear. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not walking down the same red carpet as Adele is. Let's just. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Fair. Beyonce over there. Yeah. <laughs> she's, not, she's a line unto herself. But you know what's cool is like there's a list and you'll never see those. Harry Harry Styles is over there. Uh -huh. Sam Smith is over there. Okay. But I saw a lot of people. The people that are like right in the middle still got to go through the same door I do. Okay. Nice. And so if you are not Jay Z, yeah, <laughs> and above. Yeah, 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 I'll see you in my line. I'll see you in my line. Yeah, <laughs> so I saw, we might be sitting uh, next to each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah nigga, hey, you, you got shitty seats too, see nigga. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, but yeah, uh, uh, B listers, if you will, sat in the seats we sat in. Uh -huh. Um, I met uh, Benny Blanco. I met nice. Jazzy, who's on, uh, who's a queer woman that's on Diddy's label. So all of these people were okay. So boom. You go into this building. You have to check your ticket. Mm -hmm. um, niggas is literally there just trying. Every it's literally like a concert where like niggas just trying to get in and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, can, I, can I skip the line? Can jump, jump the fence. <laughs> hey, nigga, let me have. Can hey, I have your Nick, ticket? Can, can you no. loosen your wristband so I can get in too? Like, <laughs> no, do um, Grammys. Come on. And you wait. You are in this waiting room where shit mm -hmm. is high priced, um, but you pay it because you're at the Grammys. You gonna splurge? You gonna spurge. you know? But you feel good. Yeah, yeah you like, like, because I got twenty dollars for a vodka right soda. <laughs> oh, I, got, I ain't about to be at the Grammys looking broke. Hell no. <laughs> Here go twenty, and I'm gonna tip you with yeah, my little, little you vodka know? soda. <laughs> feel a big time on it. <laughs> it really hurt, but I'm gonna act like I'm supposed to be. Yeah, we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. About it, we fly. Mind. You know what I'm saying? You know. You have your sunglasses on. Do what? Did you have your sunglasses on? Absolutely. Ah, yeah. Because I was like, I wanna, I wanna be me today. Yeah, so, and this is kind of me, but I'm playing a part also. Yeah, yeah, um, I wanted to see, you know, I wanted to see people. I wanted to look them in Unfettered. their eyes. I wanted to look like I wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? Like uh -huh. I wasn't hiding or no shit. This yeah. is to look yeah. cool today. Okay, on the Said Lord's I'm, day. I'm on the pod. on the Lord's day. I'm on I'm the pod. I'm, this some, I'm the special guest. I'm yeah. my shit. You know, <laughs> you know? no, no, no. We on God's timing. You know what I'm <laughs> yep. And so, Shout out uh, Ife. yeah, man, God, you go to your seats. It's so it's weird to see them say to cut like y'all watching 
we'll be back. The Grammys, you know? Yeah. Ryan Seacrest so hosted the Grammys. So yeah. to see Adele and Lizzo and niggas get up and hug and Kiki and niggas is drunk and they regular and they right there. I just didn't, I could not wrap my head around it. Uh-huh. It was like... Beyonce, y'all niggas is breathing the same drinking and eating <laughs> yeah. right here. That's oops. tight. You're like, oops, Sam Smith spilled a fucking hot dog on his suit. Now he's got to clean it. Oh my fucking god! That's or crazy. you see the yeah. pictures, and everybody looks so fly. It's just weird, a weird place to be in. Mm. So there was a nigga smoking a joint. I don't even smoke weed, but I was like, nigga, I have to smoke weed. <laughs> yeah. the Grammys, nigga, the joint. Please. They're smoking weed inside the Insi- Grammys. There's here's the thing. What, there's what they don't tell you. Ready? Uh-huh. I'm about to drop a bomb. Uh-oh. You could go to the Grammys. Okay. You gonna pay a fee? Yeah. <laughs> but you could go if you wanted to. Yeah. Oh. You I'll don't try- have to know somebody to know somebody. There's yeah. there's people. You know they can't fill all the fucking seats. It's a big. Yeah. And so they want Shelly Nick's money. Uh huh. Your right, money's right. good money. Yep. Yeah. Come to the Grammys. Yo, so you got niggas. They got bread. Yep. They just want to be at the Grammys with a lady. Big flex. Hell yeah. That's good. Hey, bitch, you want to go to the Grammys? Nice date. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know, it's Thursday night. And so you yeah. got yeah. Joe yeah. Schmo in there. Like, who brought this nigga? Oh, my God. I'm Damn. smoking a joint in the That's Grammys. That's what I'm saying. I That's bucket list now. Yeah. Yeah. Tripping like a motherfucker, but I smoke. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. That's Shit. Fun. I'm honestly trying to go to the BET Awards. Oh, that's, that's, be, that's a good time. <laughs> right nigga, that there. would be, that yeah. would be fire. Big like, fire. Imagine being at the BET Awards when Soldier Boy dropped Crank That. Oh and he performed God. that you, at the BET. <laughs> I would be in there sweating. Probably. Yeah, I got like, me some baby tonight. Yeah, oh you know. Oh, my God, dude. So crazy. A moment, yeah. a moment in time. Holy I want to go to all. You know, it's just like, I don't know, nigga. I never thought I'd be at the fucking Grammys. I know, right? It's so crazy. Well, what's hard is like people don't tell you this. Once you're able to go to places like that, not everybody can go. Those tickets were even expensive for me. Uh, and so I had to hit homies like, nigga, I'll give you half. I'll pay half your ticket if you roll with me. Because not only are we going to LA, that's a flight. Yep. True. Yeah. That's half the ticket. Ugh. Need lodging. If you ain't got it, I don't care. You know, are the Grammys um, all the, always in LA? Yeah, I okay. think so. Yeah. 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 I, um, right. yeah. So I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm that's sorry. a hotel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a rental car. Wow. Food and drink. so, could you do it right now? I, you know? Yeah. I don't mind. It'd be I like, like that's a little vacation there. right that's there. A little, I'm you like, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So, they don't tell you once you can go places. Ah. It's like you're invited, but. <laughs> but can you afford it? We go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you, you afford it? Like, let me know when you get out here. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So, again. <laughs> Uh, so so here's the thing again what they don't tell you nigga i'm in a rental car by myself my homie made it that that morning the day before to go that night and left the next day i was there for five days solo in a rental nigga wow experiencing places by myself Mm -hmm. you know went to the museum where you could see the michael jackson glove and the the, you know all this shit by myself and it's beautiful but it's like damn they don't tell you this part yeah, 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 they don't tell you. You like I'm in LA. Yeah, yeah. And I met up with a couple people that I knew on Instagram. That's good. But yeah. it was like, damn, they got this big moment. They don't tell you sometimes you experience them by yourself mm-hmm. in a weird way, you know. So it was beautiful. It was humbling. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. We kind of started out pretty hot. I mean, it's pretty on brand for the Loose Cannon show, right? Yeah. Um, but uh, I guess. You know, even I, as long as I've known you, don't really know a lot about where you come from and mm. kind of like why the way, why you are the way that you are, because you're just like this, uh, I don't even know the word for it, maybe enigma for the lack of a better word, or this okay, like, uh, this co- this colorful you almost being feel, that, er- you know? It's like a, you came fully formed when I think that, you know, Shelly and I first ran into you. We didn't see a lot of the developmental, you know, mm. Mama Duke. It was just like, this is Mama Duke the finished product that and the biggest compliment you could ever give me dog because i have been in pieces before i just make the <laughs> shit look good nigga. Hey, you know? yeah, you yeah. pieces with that shit. <laughs> you know what i'm saying we'll take it hell yeah, yeah. well like where are you from like you know so long story short uh, fucking palacios texas palacios palacios Ooh. palacios that's about, like the border right uh, the gulf of mexico i'm, I'm tripping yeah, like, yeah, the gulf of mexico, the gulf of mexico yeah. is right in my backyard mm-hmm. um so more cows than people five percent black people yep just painting a picture. I graduated uh-huh. with like four black people, two of them were my cousins. Damn. Yeah. Nigga, so for a while, I was like, I was just with nothing but white girls. 
So I was like, what the fuck is really going on? You know? I, go, I, was, <laughs> I was raised with the Mexican side of my family. So I'd go to the black side of my family, mm -hmm. and I wasn't black enough for black people. They're like, oh, Corey, you know, Corey don't eat grits. I'm like, nigga, I, I can't you eat them. Why can't I just not like grits? Nigga? Yeah. <laughs> why I gotta be that nigga? All you know what I'm saying? Why I gotta be all that? <laughs> why I gotta be all that? Yeah. And then I go back to the Mexican side of my family, and people would be like, you don't talk like that. Why are you talking like that? I'm like, because oh, I've been around suck, niggas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Like, God damn. So it's just yeah. was like this small little bitty town. Um, I almost went to the military. Really? Like passed the waiver and everything. Like I was overweight. They made me pass the waiver. Like, nigga, do this so we know you're not going to pass out. Uh -huh. Passed it. Nice. Went through MEPS. The only thing I didn't do was get on that bus. Really? Wow. Because until you get on the bus, you don't belong to nobody. I could say no. Regardless of what, yeah. you, you know what I'm saying. You get on that bus, you are property of the government. Absolutely, and I didn't get on the bus. And mm. and I I think here's the thing. My mom didn't want me to go to the military, so she was like, "Go stay with your uncle." Type shit. Mm -hmm. Go stay with your uncle um, and figure it out. He was in Houston again, trying to make it a long story short. He was like, "If you could do one thing, whether they paid you or not, what would you do?" Mm -hmm. And he said, uh, "And I said photography." Um, so I went to the art institute. Did a nice. little fucking tour, and I was like, "Nigga, fuck the military." Yeah. <laughs> I want to be around these art bitches. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I like. I think I like art bitches. You know. There you go. It was just like it was. It was in Houston, so it was like black people and bitches. And yeah. <laughs> I'm in Graceland. I'm living it I'm up. I'm like, Hell nah, yeah. nigga. So uh, went to school for a year. Mm. Figured out. Photography was a like, music was a love. Heard that Austin was the live music capital of the world, mm -hmm. and I was like, my dreams are there, and I've been I've been here ever since. That's awesome, and it's good too that uh, you realized it in time because I think a lot mm. of other people that were in your position probably would not have been as fortunate to have that sense of self to know that this is ultimately what I want to do. Mm -hmm. That's probably some shit that people be in the military six months and they're like, I actually don't fuck with this as much as I thought I did. Yeah, and it's bro. like that, that sucks, <laughs> like. You're here now. That could have ended it. bad. Well, here's the thing. I, oh, music was always in me, dog. Like, um, I always, like, my mom had a shitty little microphone, mm -hmm. and uh -huh. I used to make fucking, it was just like track, vocals, huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Compressed, That's you know? It. And put it on a CD. My mom always had, like, a CD burner, labeler type shit, mm -hmm. and I would pass them out in fucking school. And so, to me, it was like, I was always that bitch that rapped. Yeah, Niggas yeah. would be on the table like, boom. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. and I would say stupid shit, and it was just Everybody's like, if like, you oh. like that stupid shit, I can't wait to write, nigga. Yeah, I can't, yeah, you know. Yeah. And so it was there. It was like I was the only female doing it, and that's where the fucking I needed it. Uh -huh. It was like lunchtime. It was my time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And so it never stopped. Hell yeah. So it was like, boom. Here's my music. I'm that nigga at lunch. Yeah. And that's where fucking Mama Duke was fucking created. Was there a was there somebody around that time that you were like I want to model you know my ethos my whole aesthetic the way I approach this shit about like, yeah no wait like is there like I guess like was there an inspiration you know to use I guess a little bit more of the milk toasty kind of language around it you know like was there somebody that you at that age was like if I'm gonna do this shit like anybody I want to do it Dude, like, like them here's the thing bro with being a fucking biracial queer woman. I was about woman. to say, like, there, there probably no, weren't a lot of people there's that no representation. fit that for you. Yeah. So most of my representation came from men and Missy Elliott. You know? Fair. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> all these niggas and Missy Elliott. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but Missy Elliott is just, of essence, the only thing anybody could ever want to be. You know? Yeah. yeah. So my, my first uh, images of women doing hip-hop was that fun shit. Yeah. It wasn't like this, like... You know what I'm saying? Ser it was serious, like playful. Like hip. Yeah, yeah, it was like you see Missy and you're like she'll th you know she'll throw in a gold down trying to eat it like a vulture. You just like yeah. oh, nigga. I it's like a difference between like that kind of like rap coming from a woman. Then you got like Queen Latifah. Yeah, That's like who you call? You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know. And she like Queen Latifah. Anybody else? Brad, from that background like that there wasn't like, a lot of well, people. Yeah, yeah it's like, like Queen Latifah. I'm saying is like really aggressive right yeah you know whereas like missy elliott there's like way more Playful. craft involved in that play. even like dancing yeah. and like yeah, yeah yeah for sure so so also like uh kid cuddy for me was magic mm -hmm. really? i didn't know you could sing and 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 rap that's cool i didn't know you could harmonize and that's all i did but there you know we we know who we are now back in yeah. the day it was like what genre is it you know yeah rap yeah, yeah. cool you're a rapper right yeah you know there that's was it. no niggas doing two things point blank mm -hmm. 
you know. And yeah. so T Pain yeah. and Kid Cudi were literally I owe my shit to, you know. Yeah, trailblazers. Absolutely, it's just different. Yeah. And and here's the thing, my mom didn't let me listen to rap music a lot. Yeah. I think she always knew it would come, and so she was like, "What are these niggas saying?" I mean, she didn't say that. She's Mexican. <laughs> 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 what are the, you know what, what, saying? what are these? What are these niggas saying? <laughs> What are these niggas up to? Yeah. Um, so I listen to I could only listen to country and Tejano music growing mm-hmm. up, and so I think that's cool. That, yeah, yeah, it was cool because Tejano got some like, bangers. Absolutely. So it's cool that like uh, I think uh, storytelling was yeah. like me and my mom would ride in the car on a way to pick up or drop off or do whatever, and my mom would make me listen to a song and be like, "What was that about?" And we talk about it. That's cool. Like, what do you think wow. that was about? What do you yeah. think? And for me, it was like, okay. I can look back and be like, that that was crucial. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So really, yeah. what is this song about? You know? Lay the oh, foundation. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Even just outside of just music, it's just using your like your brain, like critical thinking and like, yeah. you know, reaching back into your brain, like, what did I just listen to? Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like even they make you do that in school with like books and like excerpts and shit. Like you gotta, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gotta read three paragraphs and then like rephrase kind of what, what you what you read um, mm-hmm. so that's pretty cool that's pretty fun i would enjoy doing that as a kid hell yeah. my mom needs to step her game up no i'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> shout out moms yeah yeah hell yeah well shit here's a fun fact uh you're from palacios texas yeah. right when i was in college we were part of this organization called hip-hop congress hell yeah shout and, out hac and we fuck? uh yeah it was a texas state get down oh shit that was fun so they would go travel and do little things at schools to inspire kids and shit like that. Most of the time, it was kids coming to Texas State. But in this instance, they we drove to Palacios, Texas, and they had me um, DJ. Um, it's the weirdest thing ever. I've never heard of this in my life. But it was like a it was like a safe prom night, a safe prom safe. after like party. It's yeah. like, you know how after prom people go do t- teenager shit, they go get drunk yeah, yeah, and they smoke yeah. weed. This was like uh like a, a innocent, like <laughs> don't go do that. Come here yeah. and be oh, safe man. and drink Sprite was and it eat called pizza. Fifth quarter? I don't know. Yeah. I think that's essentially what it is. It's like Mom's yeah. done, but like we don't want you being a hooligan immediately after. Come do yeah. this she instead. She was a palacious nigga. Yeah, it was, uh, it was <laughs> the craziest thing in my life. I remember I had to play all clean music, but I remember I d- remember that song that Or nah by Ty Dolla Sign. I feel like you you gonna run it for these yeah. 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 so, I like how we all started singing yeah. that shit. Different parts too, different parts. Hell yeah. There was uh, the remix with The Weeknd on there. Ooh. And that shit is mad explicit. He's like, you can ride my engine until you drip and come. I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. They was like, homie looked at me. He was like, nah. I didn't like, not not, like, not here, to come. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga win. That's such a bad word. That's not even not even profanity, but it's like, it's like the like nastiest yeah, word it's ever. It's like moist. Yeah. It's like I'm the um cane. Yeah, the um cane. <laughs> Please, there are children present. Damn, the, the, <laughs> damn, the pig Latin. That's you know wild. Pig, pig Latin? I uh I get, ab- okay well, yeah, you know I Apple Day. Okay. <laughs> I Apple Day. <laughs> that was like the thing in middle school, you know, chicks would like write notes in Pig Latin and then I'd be like, yo, what the fuck is this? I had to ask another girl, like, yo, what is this? What is she saying? <laughs> you know? Can you break this what down for me? Yeah. But that that's right? crazy. Um I have a question. Um what are your views? Cause you like dr- drop a lot of cool content. On the internet, Absolutely. Um, a lot of it I see is like you showing people songs that you just made, mm-hmm. or um, I don't know. You get really creative, like engaging with your audience and the people mm-hmm. that follow you. Uh, what is your like view of putting out content like that versus like dropping music and like dropping projects yeah, yeah. and shit like that? So here's the thing: I go back and forth. I would love, and that's the next plan is working on my sophomore album. Mm-hmm. That's the plan. That's always been the goal. That's what got me here on the Loose Cannon show or at mm-hmm. the Grammys. You exactly. know, yeah. uh, that's the foundation, the roots. Um, it's good and bad, bro. I, you got niggas dropping music mm-hmm. with no leg to stand on. Yeah. Um, but I'm envious of them because you dropped your art and people are listening to it. Yeah. Um, I think this whole game is relevancy. Yeah. And so if you see me. More than you hear my music, it is just as crucial as yeah. if you heard my music. It, you know, yeah, it's, vice a, it's a platform your music stands on. Absolutely, and so 
on a good day, I'm like, niggas ain't making money off music anyway. Right. Yeah. And so and on a bad day, I'm like, damn, I wish y'all had more of my music to stream. You know? Mm. But I, I'm in a stage where I'm not beating myself up. I'm glad it happened like this. People are like, where the music? Niggas don't hear that. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mama Duke, when you dropping? Niggas yeah, don't hear that. Yeah, yeah. And so while I know I can't take advantage of that, I know. It's like, here's the thing, man. Music got me to these places. I'd done voiceovers. Um, I was fucking hip hop hippo on a that's so show, cool. On a show on PBS, I was, I'm doing, you know, voiceovers and all kind of cool shit. Niggas is paying me to just MC. Yeah. And it's like, but I can't forget what got me here. I can't mm. forget what people want from me. So the content, back to the content. It, to me, it's like it at least gives the cr person that craves that part of me mm -hmm. That yeah. and 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 music is a part of my life. I love doing that. Yeah, I'm yeah. learning as an adult that I'm an opener. You know, it's uh, good though. I just got to find finishers. Yeah, and it's like so. What works for me is like I'm figuring out I'm a songwriter. And while I want my name in lights, my name will be in lights. While I want my music out, I'm an opener. I have hundreds of half-assed songs, and I don't see them as unfinished project. I see them as like I'm waiting for the. I got a song for you and you, nigga. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. These songs are for you know. These songs for yeah. everybody. I see. I, I see. have to pick which ones are for me. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like if you had a hundred hits in your in your in your, where where do you go? Yeah. You had a hundred right. hits. You're doing. You know what I'm saying. You're doing voiceover so, shit. What do you do? Yeah. So you. I, you're trying to step into the role as a, a songwriter. Absolutely. And like, you sort of see the songs that you make nowadays as almost like references, you know. I see them as demos. Demos. Demos puts an extra little, like I'm, I'm, I want to pull up. Like it's a cooler I, word too. Say yeah. it again? Demo is a cooler yeah, word. Yeah, because reference yeah. seems like I'm just I'm doing voice notes, nigga. Yeah. yeah <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's, I feel like in the songwriting world, it's almost like this is like a reference for what you... Like let's say you wrote a song, and I was the you were the songwriter, and I was like the performer per yeah. se. It'd just be like a reference of what it should sound like when I do it. I Absolutely. guess. Absolutely. I wasn't trying to like you know. No 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 no. Yeah. I just want to make the correction because um, they are demos. You mm -hmm. know, it yeah. is. They are literally. If somebody calls me, people are starting to hit me up and like, hey, can you jump in on my session? Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, ooh, I like that. Yeah. yeah. Because I'm an opener. Let uh -huh. me come, do my little thing. Here's my number. Give me my credits. Yeah. Bye. I want my 10% and get the fuck. Yeah. yeah. And you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I got I like 10% that. on that and five on here and 25 on that. Hell yeah. I have a bunch of like hooks, like um, songs that are ready. Like I could send you something mm -hmm. and all the hooks are there for every three, you know, verses. Yeah. And the first verse is there for a little reference for you. Nice. So that So that I could find the vibe for me if I wanted to continue or I could send it to you and you'd be like, oh, this is how she, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's um, smart yeah. though. You're facilitating a lot of it, which it sounds like uh, is kind of like a way to connect the dots for the whole process. Mm -hmm. Because anybody can be like, I'm going to make some good music. And it's like, yeah. okay, but what are you going to, what structure are you going to provide around that? What yeah. are you going to do to give it some means of reference? Again, yeah. like this is how you frame it. Like this is the music that I'm making and this is the box in which you use it to essentially categorize it as something relative to something else. Absolutely. And yeah. I think that's cool that you're coming, you, you're noticing it for yourself that you're coming into your own in that way. Cause I don't think a lot of people are able to do that. Not a lot of people are honest with themselves in that way to recognize this is what value I can bring to the table and yeah. I'm going to push this to the limit. Absolutely. Here's the thing. I want to drop music as Mama Duke. That's the mm -hmm. goal. I'm her, mm -hmm. you know, but I also want to be like, oh, so-and-so's, there's a writing camp in LA. There's three people that they invited. You're one of them. Let's make some music. Yeah. And I go for three days and we make something or we don't. Yeah. And then I'm flying to the next writing and, a, and, a, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or you're about to write an album and you're like, hey, Mama Duke, I need a banger. Yeah, Can you come yeah. sit in on some of these beats? I have a listening for some beats that my producer has. Nice. I'd love to. Yes, nigga, this yeah. is my favorite. Why? I'm an opener. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna yeah. have Congrats. you singing that fucking hook. Now, what you I do see. with the verses, it don't even matter these days. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? really. Honestly, so like, you're welcome, nigga. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that's what I want to do. Still dropping. Uh -huh. Still showing up. I want to. I want. I'm a personality. 
Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I don't want to. Ju- I'm. Ju- you were so many things, you dude. Mm-hmm. If you just had to do fucking music, you would go crazy. You yeah. love filmmaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, how do you solve both things? You just figure out how they coincide and and just do. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a um, it's an ecosystem is what I talk about a lot mm. with my friends. Uh, and a lot of what we do kind of just feeds each other. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, filmmaking, music, songwriting. Uh, MCing it all like we shouldn't restrict ourselves of course to just one of these things i can't i there's no way i cause sometimes i just can't make music yeah yeah there's just, sometimes i, I mean, just like i don't want to you. everybody yeah you know like, <laughs> you anything. Know? yeah like, and, writer's block is a bitch and it's like you know there's times i reflect i've spent hours on hours and hours trying to write mm. and you're like i can't do it so now i'm just feeling like shit when the other thing you <laughs> yeah. probably should have done is like okay let me go find some other means to express the creative energy that I got bottled up and is itching to get out right now. If writing or, you know, making music is not in the immediate what the mind and heart and soul calls to do. So, yeah. or let me go pop up on a podcast and get some other shit popping. Literally, then like, I can go home. Do some whole different shit. state of mind. You're ready to come back. You're re-energized. You got your wind at your back again. You're like, all right, now let's get back at it. Yeah. You knock out the best shit you ever made. But yeah. I will say. I am itching to drop music mm-hmm. for myself. Yeah, I have so much music that I just want. I want niggas jamming my shit in the fall. Yeah, you know, yeah, yes. I yeah. want because I can do that. Right, like Hell I know, yeah. you know, my my goal is to, like, fuck this. Oh, twenty thousand listens first week. It's like niggas, <clears> but are you selling out of merch or are you? Are people check? Are people coming to your shows? Are yeah, people, that was very important for me. Bro. Are boots on the ground for you? Yes. When yeah. you go, you cool online, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Cool. you, <laughs> you real cool, nigga. Oh, but I went to your show just to see, <laughs> and and you, I still you, got videos in my phone just in case it's going to yeah. be spicy. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Just like yeah, this you you not it. Look, your you, your man's not even. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. And so I don't want to be that cool. Doesn't right. feel good anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah cool yeah. only goes so far. Cool don't feel. It used to. Yeah. It's like it's what we do. Yeah. And I will continue to do it, yeah. but it's like it doesn't sustain me anymore. Nah. Yeah, Mama yeah. Duke is cool. She that nigga. Yeah, but I ain't got no bread. Yeah, and yeah, so yeah. I, I'm, I had to get some bread. Yeah, and yeah, now yeah. I'm cool, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? That's it's, where I am. That's yeah. good. I had cool. to really believe it. You yeah. know, I don't think. I, go ahead. Sorry. No, no, go ahead. I, I just don't. I don't think dropping music is as important as it used to be. Mm. To be honest, because we just have like at least like four major, especially like. I'm not. I don't make shit off streams. You know what I'm saying? Like I've had music on streaming services for like forever. I've probably made like 50, 60 bucks off of like music, yeah. just like being transparent. Um, and so I don't even really. People like talk about like these like. I'm. I'll be talking to this guy. He's a publicist and shit. You know. Shout out to uh, my homie Darian. And, shout out Darian. You know he manages artists and he's like you know don't drop music without. You know, a plan, this, that, and the third, and I'm just like, yeah, that's true. Um, I just don't care. You know? <laughs> no, that's, that's real. Dog. I'm just like, I just want to drop the music that I made. I have this concept, cool. If I'm put put marketing dollars behind it, yeah, yeah, whatever. Drop a single, all that shit. But at the end of the day, like, I just wanted to be dropped. I wanted to be out. I want people to know that. You know, I don't know. It. It. I, I just don't feel like. It's that serious for me yeah, anymore. Especially, there's not that pressure. There. Yeah, and it hinders yeah, yeah. you, bro. Oh, because so especially hindering. because you do so much, right? You're like, mm. by the time I think of a concept, get the niggas to shoot the visuals, get pictures around it, think of a release date, re- marketing plan, the mix and match, and it's just like I'm exhausted. Yeah, yeah, and it's now, like, shit's guess old. what? Niggas didn't get the pic- niggas didn't get the music. Yep, right. Because yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> and so, fuck that. You know, mm. I have to get out of my own way too. I just want to be transparent. I don't have it all figured out. Yeah. I'm not, you know, I sound real spicy on this podcast, but some, but I beat myself up. I'm like, I hide behind my accomplishments. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm like, nigga, I'm making money. I'm doing shit. I'm doing all this cool shit. I yeah. really want to drop music, but, but I have a, it, it, I can justify it. You know, yeah. because I have all these cool things I want to do, yeah. but I ha- I know for a fact I need to personally um, return to music yeah. and dropping it. I think you as know? humans in general, we just have the freedom to just do whatever the fuck we want. Like, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't feel like That's it right why now. I love I'm, you, I'm busy. Bro. You know what and I'm saying? Sorry. And check it out. I'm not just saying this because we're on the pod, Shelly. I really mean there's not. 
a lot of niggas that I look to, look up to, huh. appreciate in this game, and you are one of them. Like Dang. it's just like, nigga, you rapping with plants yeah. in your, you know what I'm saying, in your, in your crib, man, man, and then yeah. I see you with, you tapping with everybody in the city. Um, you've shot some shit for me. Uh, That's how we actually met. Yeah, yeah. Um, you always doing something. I always see you with this nigga. I always <laughs> see you, but I always see you doing Damn. something, whether you're doing music or and it's like people like you make me feel like it's possible. Like, yeah. oh, he's shooting, he behind the camera and in front of the camera, and he got friends, and he, got, he, got, a, and he, <laughs> and he got a girl, and he got a dog, nigga. And this, you know what I'm saying? And he go out and he shoot basketball, nigga. Yeah. And he, you know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> and so yeah, it's like you know, it's I, like, oh, okay. There are other people wearing two hundred fucking hats that yeah. still smile. You yeah. know, I think I, I fuck with it. I appreciate the flowers first yeah. of all, but I think there's like uh, I have this some sort like some sort of like relentlessness when it comes to just trying things or just doing things. You know, um, I remember one time I woke up in the morning and I told Lexi I was like I'm gonna run a ten k. And she's and she like, was like, this nigga gonna run a 10K. <laughs> well, not. What the hell is The crazy about? thing about it is, this is when I realized that I like, I'm crazy and it's good for me. <laughs> and Bro, you gotta like, have a little snap to you. Straight you know? up. Like, you have to be a little crazy. And I was just like, a 10K isn't like the craziest thing in the world. Let's be honest. People are out here running marathons and all this, all this other shit. Please but it's tell like, me what fucking 10K is. How it's, many, it's how like many six laps? Miles, nigga? Okay. About six miles. So 24 laps. Yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess so. Right? Yeah, okay, yeah. 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 we were running through Man. the. We were running through the. <laughs> Damn, on, yeah. on duty, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that is, uh, she's like, you don't just run a ten k. You gotta like, people don't wake up and just do that. And I'm just looking it up. I'm like, how long Man, is I a ten k? <laughs> like, yeah. I was just like, <laughs> take a while. I'll get there. Like, yeah, so I went out and ran that day, and I just like, I did it. I think it's good for people to practice that shit. It's right. like, if you have feel like some sort of urge to do something, anything. And it seems it seems so far. A lot of things aren't as far fetched as they seem. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I thought a 10k was like, I'm like, nah, I'm gonna start off with a 5k, and you know. But it's just like, yeah, running 10k or like, even if you don't do it, at least like look up how to do it. Yeah. What are people doing? You know what I'm Let saying? It be like, feasible. That's why we do this. Like yeah. we were literally talking about like back during fucking safe house when we were doing the shows there. Like they reached out and they're like. We were we have like podcast stuff coming up. We want to like have you guys do it, and we were like, we never thought about doing a fucking podcast. But then we just talked. and We're like, why don't we do that? Like, no, to to correct to give us some credit, we have though. Well, we talked yes, about it. We talked about it. They but, gave some like framing and you know backing of sorts. But I think it boils down to like we discussed something and then we did it. It did not end with discussing it, which yeah. I think a lot of people fall prey to. They like, I want to do this, that, and the third. And it's like, then why aren't you? Yeah. And it's yeah. like, oh, I don't know. I got, I got this. I it's got that. Fear. We're all fear based. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a degree of hesitancy. It might be a degree of, you know, lack of security in yourself. You might be self-conscious or whatever, but uh, for myself, at least uh, particularly as of late, uh, I've just been seeing a lot of, good things come about because you're willing to just do it. Like that's yeah, the flow. whole fucking thing. Like, even if it just, doesn't work out. Yeah. Even if it yeah. goes balls. Yeah. Beat, think it worse like, comes to worse. You got up that morning, you ran a little bit and you went off into the forest. Nigga, like, I, yeah, I can't yeah. do this. And who goes just like and, kind of veer off. Yeah. And you know what? I still got my little number nigga or whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah the little <laughs> thing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what shit. they do. Yeah. Nigga, I ain't ever ran no shit like that. I mean, that sounds hard. I think I want to sleep. I think surrounding yourself with people, because like, another thing that comes with like the fear and the hesitancy is like thinking of what other people are gonna think. Also, yeah. it's just like I, I fall victim to that. I don't know how many. I really times, don't give a shit, but, but I say that. It's but yeah, I don't give yeah, a yeah. fuck with these niggas, and you like, well, they post it. It's like the, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the kid Cudi no. shit. Like I never gave a fuck about what people thought, but I did. But fuck it, you know what yes. I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> yeah, uh, but. Uh, I forgot where I was uh, really going with that. But oh, did I've, you do the 10K? Yeah, I've done like three of them. <laughs> I'm just like, pop the collar. Which I'll, I'll, I'm just like, show? but like, yeah, nigga. I, I can be like, I do that now. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I'm a 10K'er. And because 10K, I woke up one day. That's like more of like something. Some people see you do that and they're like, they're not like, oh, this nigga trying to be a runner now. They're like, oh, <laughs> that's cool that you did that. But other things where it's like with being a rapper or being like having a podcast or. You know, I've had so many times where like I'm thinking like, damn, they're gonna be like, oh, he's doing this now. Like, what, what, what is up with this guy? You know what I'm saying? But 
it's just fuck all em. about like yeah. saying like fuck them and like we say fuck them with consistency you know what i'm saying it's like yeah. oh this ain't no like little shit that i was just this ain't something i just woke up one day and i did it and now it's like water under the bridge like I'm still here. We doing this. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Even with like Colin, like surrounding yourself with people that are just like, you know, down to just hit the ground running. And yeah, like yeah. I've been shooting short films Fuck with this guy. This. Yeah, no, straight up. Like, you know, like, I don't know. I feel like it's really important to surround yourself with people that have that you know why not attitude yeah. you know what i'm saying you trying to do a podcast why not why yeah fuck, fuck it why let's are we do it. that already yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely but i feel like you i feel like all, all of us in this room yeah. i like that you know yeah we're like let's just make some shit yeah you know this is what we do we're creatives yeah. you know like you could come to me with anything and i'd be like nigga i don't know what the fuck <laughs> but but i'm with it whatever yeah. <laughs> Big thumbs up yes why not? you make yeah. gold nigga let's make gold it all comes like having like trust in each other and working mm-hmm. with people you trust you know what i'm saying but Enough about all that, though. Um, let's switch gears here. Um, do you... you I'm sorry. Were you, were you I was gonna? actually curious, because um, I guess just to kind of round off the history for you as well, because I feel like we got to where you like got to Austin. Yeah. And I guess just like as a kind of starting inquiry question, like how have you enjoyed Austin since you got here? Do you feel like it's everything you thought it would be? Absolutely, man. I think I, you know, people are always like, man, you're gonna move out. You're gonna go to the bigger city. You're gonna go. Yeah. I'd rather be right now. For me, the answer is I'd rather be big fish, small pond. You know. It feels good. Yeah, it feels good. And and I say that loosely because there's bigger fish. Yeah. I just mean like it's nice to go to Batfest and niggas just like Mama Duke. Oh, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that like, shit. I need that. I need to go record good. a song tonight, nigga. I yeah. needed that. You know what I'm <laughs> and so Great. I love Austin, bro. Yeah. Do I want more black people here? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Have I done more to figure out where they are? No. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're out there somewhere, but, you know. Yeah. Niggas. They're in these nooks and crannies. Hit me up. No. But um, I love Austin, bro. It's, That's cool. It's, um, you got to find your community. Uh, I love Austin. Was there a point uh, in your time here in Austin where things started to click for you? Like, did, like, like a watershed moment where you were like, oh, I think I'm starting to get a groove about me. I think I'm finding my place here. What, did that ever, like, was there like a... Was there like a distinct moment or did it kind of happen gradually over time? Well, here's the thing. I'll say this. The third the third show I ever did in my entire life, Ooh. on God, I opened up for Naughty by Nature. Shut the fuck nice. up on, for on God. real? OPP. On God. <laughs> you done with him? And so I don't, I don't have that. And here's the thing. I'm two different people every day. So on one part, I can give y'all stories of niggas trying to get in my way. Mm-hmm. And on the other part, it's like I have this clear view. Uh-huh. And did I even see those niggas? Did they even matter? No. And so I don't have that. It was hard for me story i could lean I into it because i'm I, sh- I have stories yeah. yeah i could i could tell y'all some stories nigga and maybe that's the next time we'll come yeah. have some, have some <laughs> alcohol yeah. and we'll Hell save yeah. something for yeah, niggas yeah, yeah i don't want to talk too spicy on here uh-huh. but um yeah bro like it, it it worked out for me there's not a lot of girls out here in austin you can't really name three rapper females that's really doing it and so that means I'm number one and t- or number two or number three I, or number four. And I'm still up top five, you know? Mm-hmm. Literally, I don't like I've been around Austin for a good minute. I'm, you know, there are people, gals that I've ran into that I hold in high regard. I think objectively, you have set yourself apart out of everybody else that I've ran. We literally just talked about this. We had fucking fresh, uh, fresh night on the show. We were talking about like our top five Austin rappers and he gave his selection Fresh gave his, and that's on me. Damn, <laughs> they call they call damn they call my bad. Asking. And uh, you know, I gave a few people that you know kind of came off the top. You know, like the Mike Melanos of the world, the you know shirt off fees and all that. And then I was like, I haven't heard Mama Duke's name yet, and she's always kind of held it down from a like I'm doing shit standpoint. Yeah. And not everybody does that, so I was like, why isn't yeah I'm gonna, I'm throwing Mama Duke in here. Like, I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, dog. Because you've you've given me opportunities too. Like I remember back in the safe house days when we was doing the freestyle competitions and shit. Yeah. And Bro, you always had this like fearless thing about you that I'm not sure a lot of people possess. And it's like the you you don't have a fear of looking like nut I this is me. Yeah. And so I, for this nigga to be freestyling, I'm right. like, why am I scared of freestyle? Yeah. This nigga over here <laughs> yeah, is just like, like it's just it just have fun. Life can be so much fun if Bro, you, just you had don't... this jacket with fucking 
This it was, <laughs> it was like, I bought that fucking jacket because I was going on a Seattle trip and I was like, it's really cold. I've heard it's cold in Washington. I should buy a big jacket. He's like, I got this I didn't hoodie on like I'm, puff, like I'm Puffy Combs. I'm oh, like, yeah. nigga, Puffy Combs. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, you feel like feel like Sean Combs in this puffy jacket. Yes. And I was like, I had somebody send me up. They're like, it's a good line. I was like, eh, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Hell but yeah. No, it's a. You're right though. I do, and that's another thing we've discussed recently. Like, there is a lack of feminine representation that I think that there should be for the area, yes. both of like just the general, and especially for. You know, black women, LGBTQ women. I think there is biracial, like bira- just, yeah, people masculine that, presenting people that represent underrepresented people here in Austin. Yeah. And I think there is a dearth of that that needs to be remedied somehow. And I think that's another reason why so many people champion you because you do that for a lot of different demographics that yeah. don't be that don't feel seen otherwise. Yeah, for sure. So. Oh, oh, also, yeah. how did the Naughty by Nature show go? It was so dope, bro. It was oh, like, it was dope. Okay, Tretch. Okay, here's the thing. I still have the video. Um, obviously, we never did anything after, but it was cool for him to throw me a bone on camera. Hell yeah. He goes, man, Mama Duke. <laughs> we should insert the video here. Yeah. Um, man, Mama Duke, I need a 16 on one of them records, nigga. But <laughs> it don't even matter if it didn't happen. When I tell you, nigga, that's all I needed. Yeah. I was I'm like, here oh, now. yeah. I am doing this. Yes, to get invited on stage. I don't. This nigga don't know me. Yeah. Because yeah. you here's the thing. You open up for these big artists, and people are like, "Oh, how was like uh, Lil Wayne?" They're like, "How was Lil Wayne?" I'm like, "I didn't meet this nigga. <laughs> 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 Lil Wayne don't give a fuck about me." But it was just like naughty by nature. They were, ju- you know, yeah, cool enough to be like, "Hey, come on stage, nigga." That's While dope. he did fucking Tupac's Hail Mary, I'm like. Come with me. Wow. Hey, hey, hey. I felt like you couldn't tell me I wasn't that <laughs> nigga. Yeah, yeah. And so to bring that back full circle is like I never had, while it sucks sometimes, my set getting cut short so your nigga could come up here or those, you you find any reason to not like Mama Duke and you're going to mm-hmm. run with it because it's easier to not be around me because I'm a different nigga. Yeah. Um, I don't have those stories because if where the rap scene didn't invite me in, this scene did. Yeah. And where that scene didn't let me in, this, you know? Hell yeah. And so it's like, I walk in a room, and if you don't, if it's weird in here, but I really wanted to be in here, I'm going to go find another fucking room. Mm-hmm. And that's mm-hmm. what I did, you know? That's good. It's like, I, I pop back on the rap scene just to fuck with yeah, niggas. Guess what? I'm still <laughs> yeah. here. But it's like, I'm going to go get some my pop bad. money. What am I doing yeah. here? Y'all niggas don't like it. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. You, you made the lane within which you inhabit now. Absolutely. That's fuck sick. yeah. Hell yeah. I think just to piggyback off of what Dylan said, you know, about like you being sort of a strong force when it comes to not even just female rappers, just rappers in Austin in general. I feel like across the board, you you look at, you know, you and what you've accomplished. And I feel like when you look at Mama Duke, it says like, look how far she's the music has gotten her. You know what I'm saying? You know, I love that. It's not even. I, it's just like a lot of people, and this goes back to dropping music. It's just like you dropping music, or you doing this, that, and the third. But what is it? Where is it really going? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like you've just taken a great direction. Like even doing like voiceovers yeah. and like I don't know, even like being like linked uh, linked up with so far sounds yeah. and like I feel like you just Austin FC, just all these like little exactly. Things that I've made a way doing. It's yeah. so, and here's the thing I just want people to know that, like, uh, we're so much bigger than music. Mm-hmm. You know, like, yeah. I, you know, you don't see Kevin Hart just doing music. He's mm-hmm. the host that, play, you know, and then he does the voiceover Comedy. for the new, tr- what did I say? Music. But but he but to yeah. be fair he did do that little rap he shit he did yeah that's what I'm Cho- saying chocolate yeah. drop yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who is he nigga <laughs> young chocolate I'm that drop nigga. yeah <laughs> who, who is she yeah nobody yeah. knows you ask oh. ten different niggas you gonna get to oh no. she don't really to be dropping music she ain't really got no oh, okay yeah that's but cool all that's right like, but she people, just did the Lil Wayne show at Stubbs and you didn't I'm, nigga people don't know what's and, really going on you yeah. know what I'm that's saying? what I'm like, saying yeah. Yeah. niggas yeah. don't know. You don't yeah. know who I know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You don't know who I, I fucking know. 
It's funny. Uh, people talk about a lot of artists use music as like a vehicle to do something else. You know the old parable, like yeah. white, rap, white rapper makes rap to get a vehicle to go make pop or country music or like whatever. Like Post Malone. That boy. Yeah, like Post Malone. Uh, yellow he, Wolf. Like Yellow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you know that Yellow but Wolf, to, nigga? <laughs> to varying degrees, some have stuck to the script and others have not. Yeah. But I think the inverse reflects not only with like yourself, but I think a lot of us in here, like... The music's not all of it. You can make good music, but if you're not a genuine person and you don't carry yourself like someone that should be held in high regard, that music don't mean shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you can make the, you can make banger after banger, but if people think you're fucking whack and they will not vouch for you as a person, that music ain't got no Bro. leg to stand on. Social equity. Yes. yes. Social capital. I love that. Here's yeah. the thing. My personality has got me in the rooms that my music could never. Exactly. That's a good point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and people are like, oh, mama, dude, don't drop music. I do. It's, you just can't stream it, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. Go yeah, yeah. scroll my Instagram, nigga. Yeah. It's I just, you just can't stream it. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I think people, luckily, I think in my career, have booked me off of my Instagram or word of mouth or from my mm. last show you saw me. Yeah. Every time I get off stage, I get a number. Or I get linked to the next motherfucking, you know? Yep. And so I, I just want to stress that not everybody's shit looks the same. We know yep. this. Well, you're a brand. Yeah. I mean, that's I think that's how everybody should look at it, right? Yeah. I don't, do you consider yourself a rapper? Absolutely not. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. It's like, you know. When people say that, I almost get offended. I'm like, nigga, you don't know what I do. Which, yeah. nothing, <laughs> nothing wrong with no, 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 absolutely owning not. being because a rapper. I be on my you know rap what I'm saying? Shit. Like, yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I like being a rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I just am so many things. Yeah, yeah I can think that. You don't that. want just one hat to represent all the hats you be wearing all at once. Like, yeah. that's not rapper Mama Duke is not Mama Duke. Yeah, Mama Duke is Mama Duke. Yeah, absolutely. I want to do, bro. I want to do the voiceover in the new troll movie and have the background music. Yeah, type that's, shit. That's sick. Like, yeah. and why and not? be excited to be on the panel to say the right things. Yeah, I just want you know. Pharrell is not just a producer. You know what I mean? Shelly is not cats. somebody who's like, oh, he's a filmmaker. You're like, thanks, but actually, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like well, actually, you know. Actually, actually ah, accurate. And I don't I don't like to like list everything that like when you're like I'm introducing myself to someone, it's just like What do you that's what I, I just oh. like yeah. Well, let me ask you that. Like What's when up? somebody asks, like, what do you do? What do you tell them? I'm an artist, I'm a creator. Mm -hmm. Hell you yeah. know, and then people yeah, are like, yeah. well, what do you do? I'll do a little bit of everything. Yeah, it's so hard. It's to... so hard, but I want. And I, but here's the thing: sometimes when I really don't give a fuck about niggas, because I don't want you know, and I don't want it to keep going. Because then you go, that opens a conversation. Like, well, what do you actually do? Yeah. You know, I'm a singer songwriter. I'm a recording artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. straightforward. Yeah. Keep the fuck up off me. <laughs> what do you do? Ah. What's your Instagram, nigga? It's, yeah. <laughs> like, let's just, be friends on Instagram. Yeah, I just yeah. don't really want to. Just tap in yeah. with the keep up. I think it, it all tap depends in. on, like, what kind of conversation you're trying to have. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I'm talking to somebody, I, what do I want them to know about yeah, me? Yeah, you're at Sundance. Right, exactly. I don't want to talk to you about my music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Oh, um, I'm a voice in the movie, actually. <laughs> Go in the theater and check it out. I'm in, like, an hour and a half in the movie. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we could stay on the topic of like kind of like what where music you know takes um, individuals. Mm -hmm. um, you you went to London um, not too long ago, right? Yes. Um, in December. December. Hell yeah! Can you um, tell us like you know why you went and how it was when you went there? So, uh, so far sounds. Mm -hmm. uh, picked somebody from the West Coast, um, from the Central area, and then the East Coast to go in separate months. It was their first time they ever did something like this. Mm -hmm. um, so all these so far sounds artists, which now you're a part of, get mm -hmm. thrown in this hat when they're looking for certain things. Right, you right, know? right. And so there was five people that they, that they uh, had, and so you got to submit too. Right. Um, and so a little birdie told me, hey, go submit. Nice. Because we're talking about you. Yeah, yeah, And so all I knew was, all I had to do was make that shit sound real good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am a black, my racial. <laughs> I got all these queer women fighting for what do you our want? rights. I'm here, I'm nope. everything you can no cap. Want. Literally. If you give me an opportunity, I'm gonna put it back into the community. That's yeah. that's you know Hell what I'm saying. Yeah. Give it to me so I can give it to somebody else. Yeah. Type shit. Um. So I got picked to go to London. All expenses paid for a month. Uh, I mean, yeah, a month. Damn. Um. So what's cool about that is, you don't. I don't have to fill the rooms. I don't have to promote the shows. They actually want it to be a secret. 
And so they pretty much did a full month agenda. You're going to be here at this jam Mm. session. You're going to host. Then you're going to have a show on Friday and Saturday. Your rest day is Sunday. Mm -hmm. And then Monday, we're going to the school to talk about kids, to talk with kids. And then on Tuesday and Thursday, we, it was just like, for the first time in my life, dog, I felt like an artist. Yeah. yeah. It was like somebody gave me my agenda. Yeah. I was at my, I I was in a fucking (sighs) nigga. If I show you pictures, I was like, I felt (laughs) like that. And I was like, ain't nobody can tell me shit. You know? Um, so it was, it was so nice to not worry about money to Uh not, it was just the perfect recipe. It was like, I wasn't worried about bills at home for the first time Mm. in my life. Uh I'm not worried about, I'm getting paid to do here. Not only am I getting paid to live here, I get paid for every show. And it's not a shit ton. But it's something. Yeah. And there's 15 shows. Shit. That's good. Hell yeah. yeah. Did you like London? Oh, man. It, I, I was around and hung out with more black people in London than I have ever in Texas. I was going to say, I've heard there's a, a good, healthy population it of fe- black When people I in tell London. you, ain't nothing like feeling... It, it, bro. Yeah. And it, this was niggas. <laughs> Did they talk like this? Yeah, man. It was just like it was. I gotta show y'all some videos, bro. Yeah. I, I watch. Uh, I love one of my favorite shows on Netflix is Top Boy. You ever seen Top Boy? Drake, right? Uh, Drake did ex- it. He ex- executive produced the second go around of it. Um, he didn't. He co-signed the very first season. <gasps> um, but I thought he was gonna actually be in it, make a cameo or something. But uh, didn't see him. But it's all about like this like drug trade. In South London, oh. it's fucking tight. And I gotta watch it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's really cool. It. Top Boy. Well, and it's not like a season one, season two kind of thing. They have Top Boy Summer House, which was the f- first thing to ever come out, and then they put out Top Boy something else, yeah. which they're two separate things on Netflix. So mm-hmm. if you just make sure you watch the right one first. Yeah, yeah. Right. Summer House. Summer House cool. is um yeah yeah. Fuck yeah. Um, but London was cool, man. Like getting around underground, I don't get it, but it was fun. It was cool. Like their addresses are weird, yeah. but it was cool figuring it out. It was yeah. like niggas Real was like, "Be here, shit. yeah, bro." I was here, and then I was like, "How am I on a fucking train by myself?" I mean, yeah. a fucking like a bus tube by myself. Yeah, I'm and then the you tube. get to your. F- it was just a f- culture yeah. shock. Were there any? I was gonna ask that. Was there any like, other? specific instances where it was a culture shock or it was just like ah oh, this ain't like america this is just not like a, you know uh, you can't even explain thing. it uh. yeah. everything food i was about to say like is 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 the yes is the food good in london yeah what do you eat in london absolutely not fish and no it's all bad it is it <laughs> is mostly bad the british food. oh shit yeah, they said fish and chips fuck all that yes 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 <laughs> it is just not the best. I'm me- I was raised with a Mexican side of my family. We, you know, that's yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's Mexican food. You know, yeah, yeah. And so yeah. It, it was what it was. It was night. Nice. Here's what I did like about London. Mm-hmm. There's no time to like eat. Uh-huh. Like here in America, I feel like it was just like we sit and we eat. And we drink, yeah. and we go to that thing, and then we're going to brunch. We're going to eat, and we're going to drink then. Yeah, I yeah. feel like then it was well, maybe I also was on a, an, I had an agenda, right? Yeah. You know, and so it was like I got it. You get a quick bite, and you got your water with you, and you, you know, and yeah. you're on the train, on and the you take that, and you, then I'm in Bristol, and Hell then you yeah. get a light lunch, Chilling. and you do a show, and you go back. It was just. I, it was a once in a lifetime opportunity. Like yeah. that don't happen. A month paid in London. That's crazy. And it was Christmas. So two oh, weeks. Oh man. So two weeks, me and my producer were there. Spread, shout out spread. And then the last two weeks, my gal was there. Right. Nice. So and then they gave me like five days off around Christmas. Ooh, and so it was like that rocks. And then so my girl could fly up because she has somewhere to stay. Uh-huh. So that flight was like, oh, easy. Boom boom. Yeah, break it off because I got somewhere to stay. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that don't ever happen. Yep. Yeah, so we right. got to do Christmas in London. <laughs> Christmas in London sounds Come on, crazy. nigga. That was Damn. good project title too. Christmas. 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 <laughs> nice uh, one. Nice one it was beautiful. Where would you uh if you could do that again, uh, with a different locale, where do you think you'd go if you had any choice? Somewhere to go? in America. Yeah. There's not a lot of places that I would go outside of like London. You know, I, I went to France the year before, and it That's was cool. it was amazing. Yeah. But it's like, it's something about being in a fucking country where you can't read the stop sign. 
That's tough. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I, I know I'm supposed to stop, like, but the sign is red. What is I think it? I stop, but I don't know for sure. Yeah, it's it's real easy to. I just have to go somewhere where it's. I'm just not one of those people. If I had a team, let's fucking go to Egypt. Mm. You know. Oh yeah. Um, Shoot a video in front of the pyramid. Yeah, but other than that, yeah, I'm here in Giza. Hell I need yeah. to, <laughs> I need to know what the fuck shit says. Yeah. yeah, I have a fucking app on my phone where you hover over it and it changes it to English, and then you can't connect to the wire. I'm like, nigga, what oh, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, this is not as cool as you think it would be. Uh, it's they hard. try to talk Google Translate and they tell you some shit. Can you say that into this, please? Yeah, and like, it's no. too much. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, uh, we uh, got about like 30 minutes left, like in this room, but um, we've been podcasting for about an, about an hour or so. I kind of want to. Uh, it's been an hour. Yeah, it's probably about an hour. Yeah. Hour, and an hour some change. Shit. Well, damn. We've been, we've been chopping I love y'all game. That's Time flying. Shit. <laughs> I kind of want to. Um, before we wrap up, I kind of just want Dylan to drop a freestyle one time. God, <laughs> damn, <laughs> if right, if, right. if you feel so inclined, I'll, I'll drop this beat You're on this lucky table. I'm caffeinated right now. Oh. Hey. I feel it. Fuck it. Hey. Coming in me. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, he got the beat going too. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. This the Loose Cannon Podcast. Forever probably about the duration of time. All of the applause lasts. Yeah. yeah. And you can bet we got Duke in here. Not talking Ellington, but it's Hoots in here. Yeah. We got the jazz playing. Got the man saying how he be rapping like that. How he be snapping like that. How she be mama though. They trying to say they looking like a DJ in here scratching without the drama though. Yeah. So yeah, without I'm eating boys like the Papa Do's. They trying to say I got the nice proper flows. The phone it be ringing. The boys be singing. I got the high notes hidden, but we ain't ringing. So yeah, <laughs> they got them on the cellular phone. Got them flows off the top. Tell them they cold i'll be shivering even though i got caffeine in me and i feel like i'm addicted i'm half fiending me yeah <laughs> so hold up. i got addiction about it and they'd be trying to say the rhyme and the diction clouded yeah the dictionary proud it i had to tell them about it and you can bet i do it twice they be about it about it like i'm currency disturbing me whenever i observe the beat they trying to catch me slipping both these boys they disturbing me yeah, yeah i don't buy that That's they go up crazy. on the rhyme back and when i get done Afterwards, they gon' fly back. Yeah. Tell them about the destination. <laughs> Bet they basic every time up on the microphone. My breath is ancient. I got the wisdom in my body, mind, and soul. I be rhyming cold. Motherfuckers know they trying to find another diamond foe. Yeah. Nah, I either be cubic zirconium is... throwing them off the top of the dome, and no one else gonna be holding them. Yeah, but they hold it down when they be talking darks, though. That's the reason I be on the mic and the shark pole. Yeah, it ain't shark week, <laughs> but be that start wheat. Yeah, up on mic out the galaxy like Starfleet. So watch out. Boy, they got Spock in the cap and deceit. No one be doing different action with me. I got Mama Duke to the left, calling to the right every single day. If it ended, why I'm balling right? Yeah, that's the way it happened. They ain't capping. I be rapping. These boys trying to get that beauty sleep, and I ain't out here napping. So Yo, relax, relax, relax. Trying to get that beauty sleep, but I ain't out here napping. <laughs> not me. Sorry, too much coffee. That's. <laughs> thank you for that, Dylan. Thank you. Thank that's you for an doing art. That. I like that's an art. I feel like I'd be pimping Dylan out sometimes. <laughs> I'd be like, yo, rightfully Dylan, so though. Yo. <laughs> you gotta come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought people need to know, man. Okay, people are so like, you know. If I use some of that, is that biting? The the the, the niggas out here can't do that, but I hear napping though. I mean I'm hey. starting off my next song like that. Yeah, Straight up, you know. Ain't nothing wrong with biting, you know what I mean? As long as I get a on stage of the show. <laughs> That's all I yeah, need. Yeah, yeah. I'll take that. Like, hey, Dark. Get this mic, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> um, land of plane, man. Ask the last question, man. And then we can get I'm up so out of here. I'm so glad that y'all. What's so crazy is I didn't know. One, I didn't know what I was stepping into. I mean, Loose Cannon, you know more things about me than any more people you know mm. niggas don't know shit about me but if you know what yeah, I'm saying I, I see what you're and so yeah. I was like I was like I don't know what we're gonna talk about nigga <laughs> but what's cool about this is we can save some shit for later because I wanna talk I wanna come back and really talk some shit like with alcohol I, okay, yeah, yeah that's you know what I'm fun. saying. Yeah, like yeah. it'll be nighttime vibe. Maybe we do a Saturday evening. Yeah, no, that for and sure. it's like we, we've I would love we, to. It's the Lord's Day. Yeah, this is yeah. nice. Yeah, this is kosher. Yeah. You know, we I don't do podcasts, but Saturday we got to come back. Little PC, yeah. you know what I exactly. mean? Yeah, yeah. I easy, would love easy, to easy street. get drunk as hell. That would be fun podcast. And nothing off limits. Let's talk about it. But I think in that sense, just as you know, little denouement, something to kind of like stick the landing of sorts. Was that? What you, a what'd you day, call it? The day, a denouement. Is that I French? just let him. I don't know what the fuck. Yeah. A, <laughs> I'll be having a, a stop him sometimes. I'll be crying. Uh, you a, learn a lot a, from this guy. You know what I'm saying? It's a, I believe 
correct me if, if I'm wrong, uh, viewers at home, it's a French word that means the ending by which you tie all of the things that took place before it together. Google this shit because yeah. <laughs> yes. the thing about... Denouement. D-E-N-O-U-M-E-N-T. D-E-N-O-U-M-E-N-T. Denouement. I trust him, but I, but we're going to fact check. I've dropped this enough <laughs> recently. I checked it myself. The final part of the play, movie, or narrative in which the strands of the plot are drawn together and matters are explained or resolved. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the day <laughs> Munoz. <Yeah. laughs> so, just to say all that, since we've had, a, we've had a lot of fun, it's been an awesome way to spend a Sunday afternoon. Fuck yeah. And I genuinely look forward to next time. But until next time... What is something that you want to leave the viewing audience at home with as a way to say, you just caught a conversation with Mama Duke. Here's a little nugget of something to take home to, you know, show the folks at home about. All right, niggas, listen up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Watch this. I'm going to just answer. Oh, damn. damn. Baby. Hey. I'm on the podcast, and now everybody can hear you. So what do you have to say to the people? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, hey, listen to me. Blast. Can I we're, we're wrapping it up right now. Damn. Okay, can I have 30 seconds or no? Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Damn. <laughs> Leave it in, nigga. Yeah. Leave it in. Yeah. God damn. You in trouble. Let me tell you, niggas be like, I don't give a fuck. Hey, hold on. Give me my yeah. <laughs> I don't care about the fucking podcast. I'm not your okay, 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 yeah. <laughs> Okay, cool. My bad. Okay, wrap it up. What? Um, one last thing to leave to people. Um, the masses don't have to accept you for you to be somebody. You know, you don't have to be, you don't have to have a click to be seen. Yeah. You don't have to have um, niggas in Austin fuck with you mm. to, to be fuck wittable. Yeah. You know? Um, I have to stress that you are who you say you are until you don't believe it. And so that is what's gotten me here. I hope people see this and they're like, damn, you know, you don't have to have a team. It's, I, I, you, need, you want one, but you don't need it's nice one. It's nice to have, but you don't need one. Um, you can be anything you say you are. You know, I am this because I said I was and I believed it. And so you have to because, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, anybody watching this? Cool don't feel as good anymore. So do something else. This cool shit niggas hiding behind Instagram, it just don't work anymore. We see it, and you post four pictures, and you look so cool, and they have 500 likes on them a piece. But I don't see you getting these shows. I don't see you doing the shit that I'm doing. And so do better. We need to start pushing the lame agenda. Yeah. 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 You lame. <laughs> Let's push the lame agenda. Yeah. yeah. Hats with L on them. Hell yeah. yeah. Or, you know what? Fire. Here's the thing. You can be that. There's nothing wrong with that. But don't hate on niggas that want to do it. Yep. Yeah. Don't hate on niggas that are trying. You know what I'm saying? You can be that. You'd look cool. Yeah. I yeah. want your chain. Yeah. You. But don't hate on niggas that's really trying. You move the fuck out the way. Yep. You know? Oh, yeah. That's it. You dig that. You want to take us home, Dylan? Uh, Unless you had something else to say, I'm sorry. I was, I was just gonna cap and just or cap that off and. Oh, say, I was like, <laughs> let me just stop. Let me end the, the pod by capping. Um, yeah. No, I was just gonna say to kind of surmise all of that. I think you create the world in which you want to live by the way you carry yourself within it, and I think yeah. that's why we were so ecstatic to have you on the pod. It's been an honor and a blessing, Mama Duke. Hopefully, next time is sooner rather than later. But for the immediate time being. This has been Mama Duke on the Loose Cannon Show. My, na my name is Dylan Harkins. That is Shelly Nix. <laughs> That's motherfucking Colin on the ones and twos. In America, we are out. Peace. Yeah. yeah. Now let me call my girl, nigga. Ah. <laughs>